it's Jessica, and I'm so excited to be talking with you today about one of my favorite things about photo editing, changing colors. So with Instagram, it's not always possible to have an outfit that perfectly matches something or a wall that is the perfect shade of pink for your feed. So that's where Photoshop comes in. Um, it's really great because even if it's just changing the shade slightly, it can make a huge impact on your feed. So I'm excited to talk to you about this and I'm excited to see some of the photos that y'all come up with uh, using this editing process. All right, let's get started. All right guys, so let's get to this color correcting where we change the colors on the walls or product that you have. Um, this is so much fun, it's one of my favorite things to do. Um, it's great because if you have a wall or something that's not quite the color of your feed, you can just go and tweak it and make it match your feed. Um, obviously there's a lot of people that do this because realistically there's only so many walls that are going to work or there's only so many places in your city that's going to work. So this is a great little trick to just to make your content look more cohesive um, and I love doing it. <laughs> so right now I'm editing in Photoshop. Um, which is a great way to do this if you're doing something really detailed and only like a portion of the image you need to change the color. Like obviously I don't want my skin or the color of the clutch to be changed. I just want the color of the wall. So um, if you're doing something where you can get away with changing the entire color of the picture, I use a color story a lot for that type of thing. Um, they have just the hue shift and you just the hue shift and it'll change the color of your image. Um, but this is a little more detailed. So I always do this in Photoshop. Um, also, I do realize that this is a great picture. <laughs> like, I love the pink wall with the clutch, but this is just great edit, a great um, image to edit. So, I'm just gonna go with this just so it's easy to see what I'm doing. Um, so, first off, I'm gonna take the quick selection tool here. Um, since I'm selecting a pretty big area, I'm gonna go ahead and grab, make it pretty big. And I'm just going to select this entire wall here. And once I select the main area, I'm going to go in and check some details because while this is pretty good about selecting the right area, it's still going to miss some things or get some things you don't necessarily want selected. So always check. Um, otherwise, after you do all the color changing, you're going to realize, oh, I did not want that part of my finger to be change colors or whatever else. Um, so, like, for example, I'm going to come in and check especially this little zipper here. Yeah, so see how this was selected? And obviously, I want that to stay gold. So I'm going to come and do where I t the negative and take it away. Um, I'm going to have to make it pretty detailed to make sure I select the right area. So I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And I'm just going to come in here and erase that portion of the selection. So that looks great. Um, since this is very, very detailed, it doesn't matter if like that little corner, it's kind of in there. That won't make a, make a difference. But um, if it's something big, you really want to make sure you can, it's very detailed. Um, so this, I'm going to need this really tiny to get this little pink portion. Obviously, you want to pay attention to these kind of details because that wouldn't work. Oh, yeah. See, sometimes it'll... Trying to select stuff that you don't necessarily want, but... Just got to take some time to work through the details, and it's totally worth it once you have the image that you are wanting. Okay, so see, not perfect, but from far away especially, that's going to be fine. Oh, but not this. Let me get that part. Yeah, great. All right, so I'm going to zoom out now. Everything else looks good. Okay, so quickest and easiest way to do this is I just go to Image. And then you're going to go to adjustments and then you're going to go to hue and saturation. And literally all you have to do right now is just move this and it's going to change. Oh, see, see here that I missed a brick. So I'm going to go back and add that. 
There we go. So yeah, if you do miss something, it'll be quite apparent once you start doing the hue adjustment. All right. So here we go. You can do any color you want really right here. So I try to keep it whenever I do this color changing somewhat in the same like, you know, family or whatever of the color that it originally was just because it makes it a little bit easier with the edges like around my skin and stuff. Um, but I'm going to go dramatic with this. And I think I'm going to make, well, I'm going to make it this purple because I really like the purple on the little purple sprinkles. I think that looks so fun. Plus, I don't have any purple walls around here, so you just got to make them. All right, so now I'm going to go ahead and deselect this. Now, as you can see, there are some little tiny spots like this whole zipper. It actually had like a reflection on it of the pink wall. So it looks a little bit pink itself. So I'm going to go ahead and just manually go and do this zipper. Just select that. And then do the same thing, but I'm just going to do it on the zipper there. And make sure it has those purple hues. Yeah. So even if it's a little bit of pink, it's fine, but I just want to make sure it has the purple too. Yeah. Um, again, that's so tiny that it's not perfect, but... For Instagram, it's totally fine. Um, so yeah, that's how I do that. Um, sometimes I'll go in and touch up a little bit on, like, see how this edge really has a little bit of a pink line on it? What you can do, um, depending on details you want to get and how detailed you need to get for the image, um, I go ahead and do the spot healing brush and make it really tiny. And just kind of mess with it. So like that didn't work. Oops, I gotta go back two steps. So you can either do that. That's not necessarily working too great. Sometimes that works fine, but one thing you can also do is go ahead and use like the blur tool and just make that less of a harsh line and it'll kind of blend in with the, the wall and the skin will blend together and it'll look great. Yeah, so this, this is working best um, for this specific photo. Just soften that up so it's not really harsh lines where the colors changed. But then when you zoom out, yeah, see that looks great. So I hope that this was super helpful for you. I know that this has been crucial in my personal Instagram feed, being able to do this with my images. Um, if y'all have any questions, as usual, leave a comment below or send me a message at Jessica S. Irvin. Um, I also love to see any images that you edit this way. So please message those to me as well. And I'd love to see them. All right. Have a great day.